Hey guys, it's Chloe, and I'm here with one of the stars of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Kathy Wakili. Thank you so much for coming here. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back. Yes, I know. We love having you here. So first of all, let's talk about part one of the finale. Mm -hmm. uh, things are crazy. So I have to get right down in there and ask you, first of all, what is your relationship like right now with Teresa and Joe? Uh, there really isn't one. Unfortunately, right. What was it like watching Joe say the things that he said about you in the episodes over the season? You know what? Everybody gets caught up in it, and you know he's got a right to his opinion or his juvenile jokes. If he thinks they're funny, right? You know, maybe his joke level or his comedic genius mm -hmm. tapped off along with his right growth. You know what I mean? Well, He's, at one point, you know, great. At, at, in one of the real episodes, you do your best to try to get Caroline and Teresa to become friends again. Do you kind of regret stepping in, in the middle of that? You know, that was a really strange situation because I, for one, we were in the hot tub and the motor was running. Mm -hmm. you, I didn't, I couldn't even hear my own self speak. So for them to have heard what was going on, and it wasn't really about Caroline so much. She right. just happened to be the latest example of a pattern that I've seen Teresa go through in, right. in life. And, and that's all it was. And I wasn't trying to be a cheerleader for Caroline. Right. Kathy, let's be, yes. so, let's be real for a second. So let's be real. There is so much drama surrounding yeah. your particular part of the Housewives franchise, the New Jersey franchise. Mm -hmm. Families and friendships mm -hmm. are constantly being ripped apart. Is it worth it? You know, I've asked myself a few times the same question, uh, yeah. and you have to look at the good things that come out of it too. Right. right. Of course, the obvious, there are opportunities, there are mm -hmm. great things that happen. You know, you, for me, being a stay-at-home mom for so many years, I've had all this time to think about what I would do next, and so, you know, I've turned hobbies into, you know, a business. Right. And as we seen last uh, last night on our, the episode that aired, um, you know, I went and I started to pursue my dessert passion. And Tell me a little bit about the cannolis and uh, when and where are people going to be able to find them? Well, the dessert line that I've, I've uh, partnered up with one of the best dessert companies in, in the country and um, we are going to be launching on QVC during the holiday season. Love and QVC. My, you can find everything there. Yeah, and my launch product is going to be the um, cannoli kit. Okay. Where And the name of the, the dessert line is called Dolce de la Dea, meaning goddess sweets, or sweet goddess. Love it. So this is a way for every housewife, uh, the working mom, uh, anyone that wants to be a hostess, anyone that loves desserts is a, able to order this cannoli kit and they too could be the goddess of sweets in their own kitchen. In terms of uh, last night's episode, the first mm -hmm. part, uh, was that one of the first times that you knew that Melissa had been a dancer? How long had you known that she well, had been a dancer? Well, she wasn't really a dancer. She worked in a, in a club. Uh -huh. She was kind of like, for a better you know, uh, example, like a Hooters girl. You right, know? okay. Um, like, a, like, a, like a like a hostess. hostess exactly, okay. a barmaid. And so she wasn't a dancer. And if she had been a dancer, if she hadn't been a dancer, it's really, it doesn't matter. Because right. I know her now. And she's a great mom and she's a great wife and they have a beautiful life together. So whether, you know, she wasn't a murderer. You know, if, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So if you got it, flaunt it, work it. Good for her. That's what I said. We love Melissa over here yeah. at Hollywood Life. Um, you know, again, Joe has shocked so many of us with his choices of words and decisions over the past season. Yeah. Um, at one point, you know, he gets on the phone in one of the episodes and he says, um, "My my blank wife," and he calls her the c word. Um, what do you think when you're watching this? Do you think that he is faithful to Teresa? You know what, I can't even speculate on that because I don't even know, you know, I if I don't see something with my own eyes, right. I can't really judge that. Um, that was hurtful, I know, and I felt bad for Teresa because I'm sure she must have been hurt hearing those right. things. It's very shocking. But in all the times that we hung out together, um, I never seen that type of behavior right. from him. So I can't really judge you know, on, he on is a wild card. All right, well, that sounds like good reason for me to yeah. tune in and for everybody at home as well. Uh, so for more on what Kathy Wakili does, you can follow her on Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? Kathy Wakili, and it's W-A-K-I-L-E. 
In and case you didn't know. Yes. yes. And also um, my website it should be launching as we speak. It's kathywakili.com. And don't forget to tune in for the second part of the finale of The Real Housewives of New Jersey at 10 p.m. on Sunday night on September 23rd. I'm so for more you. on the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to hollywoodlife.com. Hollywood Bye, guys. Bye.